Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a PostgreSQL Server plus the PG Admin Web Tool on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So for that simply click on launch. Now keep in mind that this image comes with pre-installed PostgreSQL along with the PG Admin Web Tool. Anyways. You will be brought to this page, from here you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. After that, choose the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And then scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements. Also choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And when you are satisfied with the settings, simply scroll down, accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of your newly created virtual machine. Now for that, simply click on this SSH button right over here. Now that should open up the SSH terminal in a new window. Now you want to add the PostgreSQL user as a sudo user. Now for that, you can either copy the commands from the link in the description box which is a step by step blog post guide on how to set up PostgreSQL on Ubuntu on Azure, AWS and Google Cloud Platform. So go to that blog post and simply copy this command and paste it inside your SSH terminal. After that simply hit enter and you have successfully added the PostgreSQL user as a super user. After that what you want to do is that you want to change the password for the PostgreSQL user. For that simply head back to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter and then it would ask you for the new password so type in the new password and reconfirm the password. And then you have successfully updated the PostgreSQL user's password. Now you also want to change the privileges for the PostgreSQL user. For that, go back to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. But make sure to change this password field. And then you have successfully altered the role or the privileges for your PostgreSQL user. Now the next step is to actually access the PostgreSQL SQL shell. Now for that, we need to shift to the PostgreSQL user. Now to shift to that PostgreSQL user, we simply use this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and hit enter. After that, we simply type in psql and then hit enter. So now we have successfully logged into my PostgreSQL. Now to test out some basic commands, we can run these commands over here, which is to create a new database as my test DB, a new user as my test user, and the password as this one. So simply paste this line in the psql shell and then hit enter. So basically, as you can see that our PostgreSQL is running perfectly. Now what we want to do is that we want to allow some remote connections for our Postgres SQL. So for that, we need to exit from this Postgres shell. So type in quit and then hit enter. And after that, simply head back to the blog post and copy this line to open up the configuration file and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. And then type in the password for the Postgres user. Now in this file, we want to change the listen address. So you can see that this line is commented out. So simply uncomment this line and type in the IP address from which you want to listen some request. And if you want to listen to requests from all over the world or all the IPs, simply type in an asterisk and then control O and control X to save and exit the file. Now the next step is to allow all the available host or some specific subnets. Now for that we need to open up a new configuration file which is the pg underscore hba configuration. So for that simply copy this line and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And in this line if you want to accept the connection from all the hosts you need to copy this line and if you want to allow access from a specific subnet then copy this line and simply replace the subnet type over here. So I'm going to go with all the hosts and paste in the line at the end of this file. After that simply hit ctrl o hit enter and then ctrl x to save and exit from the file. Now to apply the configuration we need to restart the server so for that simply type in the command sudo systemctl restart postgre service or postgre sql and then hit enter. After that, you have successfully applied all of the configurations. Now if you talk about the PG Web Admin tool, we need to configure it as well. So for that, simply copy this line and open up the setupweb.sh shell command. And then you need to simply wait for the setting up process to be done. It is going to ask you for the administrator password. So I'm going to go with test at test.com and the password for the root user. After that, you can see that PG web admin tool is running on our local host. Now to access this, simply go back to console.google and from here click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, choose compute engine and then choose VM instances. 
Now from here, you can see your newly created virtual machine. So scroll to the right and copy this external IP and paste it inside a new tab. And then follow up this IP address with pg admin 4 and then hit enter. So that is going to open up your pg admin web portal. So you can log in with using your administrator email address which was this one and the password and that should allow you to open up the portal for pg web admin tool. Anyways that brings us to the end of this video. So if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for google cloud platform and for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up PostgreSQL along with pg admin web tool. And if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.